Yeah, once I completed the big five, you know, it's, I pretty much kind of settled down and, you know, I had, I had my feel of Africa. And I, I mean, I pretty much love the dark continent, but I just, I've got a passion for mountain games. So I had to get back into chasing sheep around. And right about that time, the opportunity to go to Iran opened up. It had been closed since 1979. And that's a place where there's eight different species of sheep and tons of Western hunters have always wanted to go there. So when, that, when I heard that it was open and I had the opportunity, I, I was pretty much gone. Last day, they only give you five days on the reserve. This is actually the second time we've hunted Kerman sheep, but it's just a tough, tough hunt. We're way down in southern Iran in the desert. There's not a lot of vegetation. There's not a lot of water. Um, we had a tough hunt this time because of the water. But he's still a mature ram, and he's coming to America. definitely look like they're worth getting closer to. Okay. Okay. Woo! <laughs> Thank you. These guys have a 2,000 year old hunting heritage. They've been, they've been sport hunting here in Persia for 2,000 years. And it's unbelievable to come here and take a sheep. It's open to Westerners. It's unbelievable how this sheep, he's growing so tight that he's wearing into his neck. It's just leaving perfect wear marks here. Every time he turns his head to look at something, he's gonna turn and just shave. It's incredible sheep. Everybody ready? Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. What's wrong with you, man? Okay. Yeah. <sighs> Six hard days and I missed a long shot and they come running to us. <laughs> Holy cow. <sighs> Couldn't do it without you, you know, as the outfitters and these crazy destinations that I like to go to, you guys make it happen. Love to see you again. Yeah.